everyone, my name is Pellicent Moon and welcome back to Hermitcraft Season 9, Episode 14. As we mentioned last episode, Hermitcraft is now updated to 1.19 and today marks the day where I take a dive into the new features on the server and really explore what the new update has on the table. Before we get into that though, I really feel like my current, you know, twinkly trash attire doesn't exactly fit the direction we want to take with our journey today. You know, wearing a hard hat and some overalls. <laughs> Not exactly fit for, for, for exploration or anything like that. So it's time to dress up with a brand new new style for the observation of strange and new happenings on the server. If you could all just, you know, wait outside for a little moment while I take a second to change, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll be right with you. <laughs> Back in a moment, guys. Bam! Would you just look at this? I'm all changed, I'm beautiful, and I love it. <laughs> we now have some wonderful new clothes to suit yeah, you heard that right. The suit of the situation. It is time to fully embrace the investigation of our alien landscape and really delve into how the lands of Minecraft have evolved with the introduction of the new code. I would also like to extend a huge thank you once again to Liv, the fantastic artist who has designed this clothing set for us today. I will be leaving a link to their Twitter down in the description below for you all to check out. Thank you so much, Liv, for once again absolutely knocking this one out of the ballpark. I am super excited to get into this today and you know what? I feel like we really can't take on the 1.19 task without our wonderful, wacky, soupy neighbors right over there. And there is one right now, would you look at that? But first, you know, we need some soup. What's a journey without a good meal? What's, what's the soup group without the soup? We need the soup! Now, fortunately, I do have some that I prepared earlier. The unfortunate part about this is I have no idea what these are. So, you know, what, what, what's an adventure without a bit of mystery, okay? Look, look, we got a lot of soup. We are very much well prepared. And also, can I just say that was extremely satisfying having that exactly fill up all of these slots. With the soup in hand, we are now ready to go bother our wonderful soupy friends and go on a journey together. Let's go explore 1.19. Oh, he's dead now. How, how did I pick up he's an arrow? Dead what? Now. Jen! Hey! I was shooting the zombie. No, you weren't. You were shooting. I, I, why I, I why was. would I pick up your arrows if you were shooting the zombie? Don't I you? Bet That's my Jim! Fault. You can't <laughs> put that on the she zombie anymore. Die. Jim! She gonna die. She just gonna kill me. Pearl, wake up. We're trying to do a we clip. We need soup. We need <laughs> soup. We need <laughs> soup. I, need soup. <laughs> I have soup. Fine. I got you soup. All right. You want some soup? Yeah, I have some soup. Yes. This is a lot of soup. You know, I made soup a lot time. of soup once again. I made a lot of soup. I hope you guys, hope you guys appreciate my soup. Oh, that's a lot of soup. It pulls you taking it all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm He's I'm the supervisor. Oh, supervisor. Right, right, no, Jim's right. a supervisor. Still... Wait, it's <laughs> Pearl! <laughs> Poison? Pearl! You're the wait, worst soup wait, cook. Impulse, you ate yours. Hold on. Let's see what that is. Uh, do you not remember what we were going to oh, do today? Oh, there you go. You got to get one. Yeah, there Mine's we go. fine. Wait, what, what even was that? I have no Why idea. Why did she poison me? Oh, I didn't on purpose. I just have a bunch of soup and I have no idea what they are. And I just gave them to you. <laughs> no idea what they are. Great. Yeah. Can we have one that has like night vision? Night vision? Oh, Did I got, I got, I got, I got, I got blindness. I can't see. Blindness? No, yeah. that's going to be double worse. Perfect. We're going to, we're going to go on an adventure today, right? Exactly. We are going to go on an adventure. And you know what? To the deep dark. The deep dark. Dark. You don't want the blindness on top no. of it. No. If you no 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 right. You can counteract your blindness with blindness. Jeez. Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah, it's yeah, like a double yeah. negative. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. You might be blind enough. I don't think that's okay. how it works. All right. No, that's how it works. <laughs> I don't think so either. I guess we'll find out. I'm all dressed for the occasion. Look at that. I got my new fancy suit for investigation a of suit. the new update. Do I look fancy? Oh, or do I look fancy? Investigating the update. I like uh -huh. that. Do you look yes. fancy? Yeah. Suit it up. I have a plan. I've come up with an idea. We don't stop adventuring until all of us have the this new sneaky boots or sneaky pants. The fast sneak. Okay. Whatever it's called. Cool. Yeah. 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 So I we like can it. be doing this really, really fast. What if, what, what if I'm already really fast? Look at me. Help. I'm zooming. Don't you want to do it? Yeah. I'm zooming so fast. Let's let's just go, yeah, right? We need to go. We need to go places far and wide to find some some ancient cities. So let's go exploring. Okay, new okay. chunks ahoy! Ooh, racing tribe. <laughs> Cheaters! Oh, come on. Cheaters. Uh -uh, too okay, this game. you you two just have a fist fight over there. I'll peacefully go through. <laughs> We're never going through, never. <laughs> Would you I'm look at that? I'm the first one out the other side. You two are busy, ha busy having a fist fight over there. 
<laughs> two children. Jeez. Well, we can't let Impulse win. At least now you've won. Yeah. The Australian wins with the pink. That's how that works. <laughs> All right. We should be far enough north now that this should be new 119 terrain. So let's go through and, and we'll find out. Maybe we'll be in a mangrove swamp. Who knows? Wow. Look at this. Looks totally different than, than 118. Yeah. No, it's no. It's, Whoa. It's, what? Brand it's new shocks. Punch them, Brand geez. new chunks. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we lane. probably shouldn't lose sight of where our portal actually is, though. I guess we we gotta go underground if we're gonna find deep, dark, ancient cities, right? Well, yeah. Can we? We have a cave anywhere around here. the right person, because I I do. You guys know me. I like you my. You do like dig. things. Go diggy dig, <laughs> impulse. We're gonna watch right, while you I dig. I got my shovel. Where should we? Let's get it come down a little bit so it's less There's digging. A yeah. Why don't right we use oh, a cave? Oh, we can just go in a cave. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sweet. That's what, that's that what we're supposed to do, right? Go in caves. Less digging. Oh, I, I only like brought it. 40 torches. So this might not be a cave. I'm not the dwarf here, though, so I don't Jam. have any of this energy. All right, oh. find a new cave. <laughs> I found a cave. You found a cave this time. <laughs> Jeff tried to knock me into it. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, this that one. Makes... Oh, look at it. It's going. It's going. It's going. It's going. Follow me. Continuing. Bye. Oh, we falling. We're following oh, the dwarf. dwarf nose. Oh, oh, oh. oh. oh yep. Yep, I got well, a nose for these things. You, Impulse. Whoa. They're doing it. We're going down to the deep dark. Hopefully it's down here. Uh oh, I'm going More down. Baddies. I'm yelling deep dark. Get, We're going to find. It goes down further dark. over here. Ooh, iron. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait for Pearl. She's iron. Just come on, Pearl. Come on. Just dig in for a second. Look, look at all this iron. Pearl. It's so great down here. She's, like, look oh, at all this stuff. she's collecting resources. Oh, Are you kidding me? Pearl. And the coal as well. Oh, this is great. Oh, it's more iron. Forget the coal. <gasps> Pearl, I gave you a shulker box of coal blocks. Well, I'm not getting the coal. You don't the need coal. the coal. I'm getting the iron. Ah, it's oh, a creeper. Oh, sweet. Yes, deep darker. Or not deep darker. Yeah. A deep sleep. Ooh, iron. <laughs> oh, these guys. Diamonds! Are... Mine. Oh, 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 there's gold. I need this. Impulse, You're stop, stop it. I need gold. You just told me off for mine and iron earlier. There's gold right here. Yeah, but gold is different. Gold's actually important. Well, so is iron. Don't, t don't say that. Don't hurt poor iron's feelings. I'll make you an, I'll make you an iron farm. You don't need iron. Ooh, all just for me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just for you. Yay. Okay. I mean, we're, mm. we're pretty pretty low down. We'll never go back up Maybe again. Maybe we should have followed the big cave. Uh, there's dark stuff down there. Oh. Oh. Yeah, what are those called? Ooh. The veins or whatever? Uh, hmm. That's a good sign. You, as well, you might nice. want to very much crouch right now because, yeah, the, the, there's, a city, there's a city there. Wait. There is a city there. In our first there's deep a city dark, too? There's a city it's there. It's not just deep dark? No, it's right there. Look at all the bricks. Where? I don't see right it. Right there. Oh, it's directly under us. Yeah. What? I tried to say <gasps> that. Oh, that's why I was like, be careful. <laughs> I'm dropping in. You're going. Yeah, in well, the city even. Oh, oh you got your... Oh. Everybody sneak. Oh, Look, there's chests. This is what we wanted. They might have this the super sneak. What is it called? Fast well, it's, sneak, it's, quick it's sneak. It's called something. super sneak now, impulse for the super. Super sneak. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see any. Should we shrinkers. be smart and like do wool around stuff? Here's the problem, though. I have to set a box down just to do that. There's no shrinkage. Any... I think you're safe, personally. Did anybody Ooh, have their <gasps> soup down here? Oh boy. Okay. Did you find I got good stuff? Sneak too. Literally the first chest. You got I Swift got... Sneak 2? Oh, nice. I got Swift Sneak, Swift sneak 2 and 3. Nice. So there we go. <laughs> so we can combine the twos. That was yeah. fast. Okay. <laughs> also, there is skeleton skulls down here, and I'm going to grab that. They are making me a little nervous. Stop it. <laughs> Ooh, shrieky, so... I'm just kidding. It's I'm fine. You, you scaredy cat. Uh, I am. Oh, look at my shoes. Yes. Where's the shrieker at? I want to get it. Do you see a shrieker? No, but that doesn't necessarily mean that we're not going to set one off. Didn't set anything off. Nice. Ooh, disc fragment. Disc fragment. And fragments. another hoe. Oh. I got swift sneak that was me. one. Pearl, I hate to say it, but the soup's clogging up my inventory. I got to do something about it. Well, put it in a shulker box. A shulker, shulker chest thing. How much, how much do you have? Okay, can confirm the blindness doesn't, isn't oh. double... <laughs> Negative. It did not. What do you mean it, it doesn't blind. double negative? You're just you're just you're just being blind to the real effects. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna cover this one. He's getting it. Look at him go. Look at look at look at that little racing hair man oh, go. Wow. Look at him go. Hey! Oh, he covered it up. Nice. Oh, huh. oh, that's the streaker. Oh, that's another streaker. Oh, oh. Oh. Did you set it off? That... I did. Impulse. <laughs> Impulse, you're risking our lives for gold. Come on. 
Did you set off an impulse? Stop! Get away from the gold! This one can't be saved. This one is just being. Ah! Uh, Jim! What'd you do? Oh, that was Jim's strike. I think that counted as me as well because I'm right next to you. Oh, gosh, you two. Uh -oh. I haven't set up a single one yet. Keep looting and scooting. Oh, I got Swift Snake too. We're good. All right, should we go to. Yeah. Oh, that's another, that's another shrieker. Let's go to a it's corner. Yeah, is that it. the chest that you got, Pearl? Uh, the chest that I got is covered in wool now. It's only got four shriekers surrounding it, so... Only four, yeah. <laughs> only. Only four. The fact We're that you good. had to ask okay. if I looted that one yet, though, is amazing. <laughs> well, you're very brave. No, oh, thank you. I'm gonna go loot it. This is our spot. Okay, nice and safe. Would you look at this? Does that city keep going, yeah. past here? Look at this. Safe. Oh, wow. Look, the city keeps going. It's safe over here. There's more city over here. But this is where it's safe. No, but look, there, there's Dad so much impulse. city. You can fit so okay. much city in this bad boy. That's that's a lot of torches. You can see perfect over here. That's a lot of torches. Impulse. Yeah, I'm out of torches. You know we're now. in we 1.19, right? Yeah. Jeez, could you be a little quieter with the anvil over there? <laughs> Sorry. You said it was safe, Impulse. What do you mean? <laughs> I know, but still. <laughs> Where's my pants? That does go on pants. Whoa. Oh, no. Am I going to have enough levels for this? Can I check? <laughs> Impulse, it, not having enough it. levels. It's, Never thought I'd see I'm the not day. Gonna be, I know. Thanks to another warden. I have it. I did it. Yes. Oh, I'm so fast. Whee! Can I have one, please? Uh, Pearl has yours. Pearl has yours. I she have has a, a me. <laughs> she has a two. I have two twos. Impulse has a. I have a two two. <laughs> you want to wear a two two impulse? <laughs> yes, I would love to wear a two two. <laughs> a dwarf and a two two. Oh gosh, I pants. can see the fan art now. Here we go. Ooh. All right. I am pants. Yes. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Bam! I, I have pants. five levels now. Oh. You're man. welcome. Thank you. Yep. Here we go. Oh, Yow. look at this. is so much better. Speedy. Oh. <laughs> this is so great. Ooh. All right, hold on. Everyone drink your soups. Wow. Drink your soups. What we got to celebrate. Changer. Drink your soups. Yes. I can't uh, believe we did it that quick. Really All right, got I got a soup. Oh, yep. Mm, I got egg vision. Yummy. Ooh, nice. Oh, I got perfect. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, I like a bad one. That is deserved. I oh, Look at how much better no. this place looks with night vision. Why didn't we bring more night vision? Because night vision. We're so sneaky. Come on, let's go get the rest of it. Oh, this is gonna be awesome building. Look how much faster we can explore the city now. Ooh, diamonds. Oh, there's a geode in the ceiling. There's two geodes in the ceiling. There's more diamonds in the ceiling. What is this area? Oh, oh, there's more diamonds. Oh wait, no, that's this thing. But that is that is an iron ore vein. Oh boy. Doop, 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 doop. Whoop. Oh, oh no. Oh, I set it off. Okay, should only be my first or second. That's fine. Ooh, other side disc. <gasps> and two enchanted golden apples in one chest. Oh, okay. I'm telling you, this swift snake is going to get me killed. Oh. Ah, don't do that. You scared you the daylights out of me. <sighs> Did you get that chest already? <sighs> no, no, yeah, there's like... Four shriekers, but you scared the daylight out of me. I heard you set something off. I, I, I did. Oh, I did. Set, I set yet. one shrieker off, like over the other side. But there is like five. There is five shriekers here. Uh oh, go, impulse. My bad, Jim. Oh gosh. Oh. Uh oh. Is he coming? Um. Okay, I think I Jim's still good. I don't hear it. What'd you get? Anything good? No. Nothing. I really hope that this Nothing. is not gonna set off a shrieker. Oh, it's oh. off a shrieker. <gasps> that sure did. I'm looting the chest. Ah! Oh, he's That's coming. the warden! He's coming! He's coming. We, gotta go. ah! we gotta go! No! No! Not having it! Oh. Safety area! Oh. I was not up to three strikes yet! Oh, that was terrifying! I can't see him. I can definitely hear him though. Uh, oh, Impulse, what are you doing? He's gonna get he's gonna get killed. Oh, oh gosh, Impulse, what are you doing? <laughs> Why would you fly? Impulse, no. Jam. Impulse. Friends. I guess being abandoned. Oh, there they are. <laughs> the warning on their case. Wait, what if I what if I shoot it? Hold on. Yeah! Oh, he running. He running. Oh, he running real fast. Oh, gosh. Oh, other side. No! <laughs> Pearl, what are you doing? I was just shooting him, you know? Really fun. But he was he was like bolted it towards me apparently. Oh gosh. He's very mad at you now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm setting up more of them! 
Oh, baby, it's not burning. Where is it? I Where can't see. I set off another one. Oh, oh my There's gosh. There's one behind us here. Oh, so. oh he's, he's still aggro on me. Oh, no. Why am I, Why did I shoot it? Why did I shoot oh, it? Oh, no. Is he still? Where is he? Where is he? Oh, gosh. Oh, gotta yep. go. I'm leaving. There's one there. Oh. Oh, I see. He's got a, He's got the sound thing going. Hello. Ooh. Is there another one? Pearl, oh. hey. Hi. Did you survive? Yeah, I'm okay. Good, it was good, very good. scary though. What? He was like super targeting me. This guy is right there. Yeah, he's distracted we... by impulse's magic. He yep. is. Look at the little little toy toy piston. He he tries and then he's like, nope, never mind. We should shoot him, <laughs> impulse. I heard it's fun. No, I saw what happened when you did that. <laughs> yeah, I asked that what was happening. You shot that. him and you immediately answered the question. So uh, I'm good. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> I should try. It's like playing a ta playing tag, you know. Oh. Don't let them sniff you. Pearl, Good especially you, there. you smell like garbage. Hey, I'm fancy oh. in my suit, thank you very much. Look at it, it's constantly setting off. There's a shrieker right there that's uncovered too. Oh gosh. See that? I like how the attempt of wool placement was made. <laughs> an attempt, there was an yeah. attempt. An attempt was made. Do we want to get out of here? Or did we complete the mission? I mean, mm -hmm. we completed the mission and we're all alive, so that's a thing. Have we looted everything? We all have the uh, swift sneak three. Let's go back to our bed and oh, break oh. it. So we. Oh. Wait. How did that Whoa, happen? It's, it's over there. Yeah, yeah. What? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Here it goes. <laughs> she was doing it. Looking at it. Oh. It's so cute from here. Okay, hold on. Let's do this. I have a plan. I'm gonna go down there and set up the thing. Jet impulse. <laughs> no, that wasn't me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Stay back. If it kills us. It's your fault, impulse. Straight to it. <gasps> Just don't Did let him sniff you, though, right? Oh gosh, he's staring at me. I showered, I swear! I told you, Pearl, the garbage lingers. Sorry. Oh, he's Is gonna leave. Oh, he's no? bouncing! Look at him! Oh, he was on top of it. That was so cute. Oh, he's gonna pulse. He's yelling. He doesn't like you, Impulse. He was yelling. Oh, oh he's coming. Oh, oh he is oh. on me. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Huh? Why are we running towards the other wardens? Oh, where? I, it feels like it's where? right I'm next to us. I'm scared! <laughs> on, I don't Jeff. like it. Blind. Where is oh the gosh, he's close. He's somewhere near. Oh, oh, oh gosh. <gasps> <laughs> oh no. <gasps> no, Jim. Oh no. Obliterated by a sonically charged shriek. <laughs> oh no. Let's be honest, it was bound to happen. Hi, Pearl. Hi, Jim. Wait, where are you? Hello? I died in a hallway. Oh, I don't know where. Oh, no. We're on like a five minute timer right now with a whole bunch of wardens around the place. This is going to go well. There's a shrieker here. Hold I got on. nothing. Let me just break this. You gotta go on a rescue mission, Pearl, with your wings. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Pearl, go I'm sorry. On a rescue mission. I can't. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, no. Oh, good impulse found of stuff. All right. Jam, you got so far with not having any swift sneak. Like, you were a speedy. Oh, he's, he's back down. I'm running from a warden, Pearl. Is, you're not running. You're sneaking. Very fast, apparently. I hate it here. <laughs> trying to find impulse. Oh, it's so dark. Do we make the great journey back to uh, safety? Let's go to safety impulse. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So oh, we're off to a bad start. Just don't mind me. Oh. Pearl. Don't mind me. Just got to pick this one up. Stop it's it. fine. Stop it. See? It's fine. Don't set up any shriekers. We're leaving her. Hey, I'm a professional. Okay? You can trust me. It's fine. <laughs> Whee! I'm running. Stop it. Rolling. I think this is where I ran from Whee! the warden. This is horrible. This, this, you guys are all so slow. Some, you have yum, some yum, yum, flashbacks yum, yum, right yum, now, Jim. Yeah, it's horrible. You put all this stuff in the chest. Where did she die? She died, right like, here. right here. Here? <laughs> well, like, this yeah, is the no, safety was, zone. Was like, what do you all mean? All her stuff was like right it wasn't here by this very ladder. safe, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> I'm blaming false. I didn't choose this spot. treating me very well. It's not a safe zone when there's a warden in it. Before we uh, before we head out, there's I got three soups left. You guys want to do one last? Hey guys, one last, ready? Uh, soup. We'll see what we get. <gasps> no. Oh, that's not gonna. Get out of here. Yeah, great. <laughs> Sorry, oh, I had to do it. Nice try. I mean. Okay, one last soup, and then we. I haven't got any soup. Do you have a, can I have a soup? Okay, here we go. Soup okay. roulette. Let's soup. see what happens. Oh, oh, here we go. All right. All right. 
Three. What two, did I cook up one. today? Blindness. 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 Awesome. Oral blindness. Yeah. Everyone got blindness. I cook really Great. well. One last Consistent. one last time in the the blindness. Let's go. Maybe I'm the Let's water get out of causing here. blindness. <laughs> Ooh, gold. Ed Pulse. Well, goodbye, You're City. Great. I Bye, appreciate city. you. It's been fun. I'll be back. I gotta That's get some shrinkies later. Yeah. <laughs> We are back home and that was honestly a super fun journey. I do not regret my decision to going into the deep dark with Gemini Impulse because that was an absolute blast. Not only did we raid the ancient city with Gemini Impulse though, I actually went back to that ancient city again after our initial journey and wanted to loot a few more Shriekers out of the place and also kind of got myself a few Warden heads. Yeah, I've killed seven Wardens. Mm-hmm. Things went really well. <laughs> Like we have this head data pack uh, thing on the server that allows the mobs to drop their own little custom heads. And yes, of course, the warden has one itself. And I decided that I wanted some for absolutely zero reason whatsoever, other than the fact they're kind of cool. Like, look at these things. Look at it. <laughs> That's a warden head. It's, it's a bit morbid, but you know what? I'm pretty proud of myself. We did pretty well. Uh, I don't really have, I didn't really record my second journey into the deep dark. I didn't expect to kill any wardens, but there's a whole stream on it. So if you guys are interested, I, uh, I'll try and get that linked in the description below or something like that. I don't know. Either way, lots of fun and came out with some pretty good uh, amount of goodies as well. For the initial deep dark themed loot, I got all of these skulk sensors, picked them all up one by one. I ended up with 51 skulk shriekers, absolutely fantastic. Got some skeleton skulls, some catalysts so we can farm our own later. We have some skulk itself, uh, some echo shards, unfortunately not enough to make a respawn compass thingamajiggy, whatever it's called. <laughs> and we've also got ourselves some swift sneak books, which is fantastic. Fantastic. In the other shulkers, we have, we ended up getting a whole bunch of potion of regens, which I probably will never use, honestly, and this many diamond hoes. Yeah, we also gave one to Gem, so there was so many hoes in that, uh, that city right there. And then in this one, we've got, like, the miscellaneous, uh, loot here, just some normal books, couple of golden apples, that kind of good stuff. And then in this one here, we have the special loot with a whole bunch of music discs. I don't know why we need this many 13s and cats, but we got what we got. Got a couple more other sides, got some deep slate diamond ore, some stone diamond ore, deep slate emerald ore, and four enchanted golden apples. That is some huge loot right there. Very exciting. And I finally have some more enchanted golden apple stock for my shop. Very cool. Came out of it on top pretty well and uh, very happy with what we got from that. Now, this is probably a question you all have been asking a little bit. Pearl, why on earth did you want shriekers? For what possible reason could you want those things? And simply put, I just want to mess around with a few hermits by placing them at the front doors of their base and see if we can get some potential reactions on their side. Odds are I won't get them on camera on my side, but it's going to be worth it just knowing that I might have scared a hermit or two if they don't know that wardens cannot spawn with uh, manually placed shriekers. I think it'll give them quite a fright and <laughs> I'm all for that to be honest. Here, let me show you the concept behind what's going to happen here. Let's pretend that my door is another hermit store and all we gotta do is we just place a shrieker down here of course i have two doors so i'm also gonna place a shrieker down here and well that one's already uh exampling it for us we're just gonna patch those over with some moss carpet and look at that you can't see that they're there and then they're just gonna come through their front doors and suddenly hear that when they enter <laughs> <laughs> it's the most simplest thing out there and maybe it won't get some because I'm pretty sure some people are very aware that manually placed ones don't spawn a warden but it, you know it might get a few and I think that's gonna be worth it so I want to go to everyone's bases on the server and just chuck down a shrieker or two and see if we can get someone in the process I'm gonna start with my soupy neighbors here even though they went on the journey with me um is there a good place to put these, you reckon? Okay, what about here? It's a little it's a little smaller. We'll, we'll put down like, you know, maybe maybe just two here. One here and one here. And hopefully he doesn't see them from, from below. <laughs> That'll be fine. We'll just grab ourselves some light gray carpet. Bam, bam. And he'll just randomly walk over this. I don't know if that'll get impulse, but you know, that that's the concept. We're just gonna go around to people's bases and uh, go do exactly that. Oh, we can also put down a few like sensors so that they can go off even if they're a little bit further away. That might, oh my gosh. <laughs> that might panic them a little bit more. There we go. One for gems as well. Now, because we're using the sensors, that means I can kind of put this one more towards the sides a little bit. It's a little bit less obvious and we don't have to use a crazy amount of shriekers every time. There we go. 
Perfect one for gems. Tango time. Tango. What is this? Hermits, please. No. Why? Why? No. Oh, enough of these empty as well. Tango, no. <laughs> Come hire cleaning services. I promise you, it'll be worth it. Oh boy. But I mean, if this is his storage area, I think we can just hide one. Very simply put, just in the corner over here. I'm sure he'll set it off. Bop, boop, boop, bop, bop, bop. Perfect. Done. We'll do one for Mambo. I reckon right near his chest as well, because I'm sure he would use these to build when he comes back. Bop, bop, and then bop. Perfect. There we go. Wonderful. If I can just cover that up. Perfect, so they'll never see it coming. One for his neighbor Grian, right across the way. Oh, how am I gonna hide this one? Actually, can I just embed it in here a little bit? Is this seen from below? Oh, no, it's not. There we go, I can just do this one right here. Perfect, there we go. Now we just need a sensor somewhere. How about this block right here? Perfect, yes, he won't see it. Looks just as normal as everything else. <laughs> coming up on Scar over here, which by the way, base is looking absolutely fantastic. I haven't been here actually since he did some extra additions to the place look at the look at the structures on this scar mate absolutely well done absolutely well done i'm very excited to see how scar's base kind of comes together in the end but it's looking absolutely fabulous so far uh yeah where am i supposed to put these scar has to have a shulker monster where where might that be what is this hello meow oh oh that's so cute, it's a mini jelly. All right, Scar, where is your shulker monster? You have to have one around here somewhere. There's no way that you don't have a shulker monster. Come on. Ah, there, it oh my gosh. Scar, how do you find anything in this? Oh no. Okay, it's okay. Is this, is this all grass? Oh my gosh, okay. All right, you know what? I'll give him some props. It is a mess of shulkers, but it's at least, like, it looks organized. Scar, all right, you know what? I, I'll accept that. He's, he's organized this. That's fine. All right, well, where do we put these, uh, okay, this isn't organized. Maybe I'll just stick it somewhere in these chests with the crafting tables. There we go. Ba, 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 perfect. You can't eat, you can barely see it. There we go, that is Scar done. Moving on to the next person. Hello, Corrales. Look at this town he has going on. Absolutely detail. <gasps> Wow, I have never seen this before. Oh, that's so cool. It's a little like mine cut with grass. That is so smart. Oh, what a cute little detail. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just so fascinated by that. Those are cute little planter pots. Oh my God, I love that. My golly goo. But in general, yeah, Corralis has already been absolutely, absolutely on point with the detail here. Fantastic. All right, where do I put this one? Oh, looks like I can see a shulker monster. Oh, oh, looks like someone's already hit Corralis. Where is that one? Oh, wait, wait, why do you get darkness with this one? Wait, why do I have darkness? You can't spawn the warden here. Why is there darkness? Oh, ah, oh, oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, oh, why is there a warden in Corellis's base? Oh no, okay. Why couldn't I hear a heartbeat or anything? I have my, I have my sounds up. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, that's terrifying. All right, um, well, I don't think I need to do Corrales' base because someone's already got that one covered. Very much so. Moving on, seeing as the concept of placing the Shriekers is essentially all the same across everyone's bases past here, I had just kept going until there were only a few left. Now this is where a bit more of a trickier part comes in. I don't actually know, I think, where the last three bases are. We have B-dubs, which I believe doesn't actually have a set location right now. We have Ether, who's just come in recently and I'm not sure where he's settling. And then we also have Vintage Beef, which has a place where he's making his trading cards. And I don't actually know where that is. So unfortunately, I can't get those three, but if you guys know, just let me know the location in the comments below and then I can go put one down over there. But I think for now, I've kind of gotten everybody that I can get as a zombie is coming up to attack me right now. And uh, hopefully we can see some reactions out of the folks from that, even though, you know, it's it's nothing, nothing big, but uh, just, just a little bit of fun. <laughs> With our little prank done there, it is time for us to head back home because I'm gonna do a little bit of building. We are back at our mega base 
area and she is looking absolutely fabulous. I'm still quite happy with how this base turned out. And you know what? We're going to be working even further on it today, more specifically on the inside of our giant mushroom there. Of course, at the very start of the episode, I had debuted a new clothing set, which is basically to be an agent that observes the alien life forms around. And this can also count for the life forms that live across the river from me <laughs> and the rest of the server. And what does an agent of investigation need? Well, we need an observational broom to conduct all of our findings. And I think the top of that mushroom right there behind me is going to be the best place for that. Let's give you guys a little bit of an update about what's been going on inside the mushroom as well, because some things have changed since I kind of last showed you. I forgot these were here <laughs> since I last showed you the interior. Now, of course, this room hasn't changed. The storage hasn't changed, but I have been doing some things upstairs and I'm pretty sure I've been forgetting to show you this entire time. Uh, yeah, I didn't show this on camera, right, guys? I did this quite some time ago and I just kept forgetting. So yes, I did a little bit of interior in here and we have almost like a tiny meeting room. We've got some beautiful chairs here around a wonderful table. Got some trap doors and a hopper in the middle to kind of serve as its leg there. And then I've also got some chests and some just copper piles just lying around. I don't yet have a place for my bed, so don't judge me. It's on the shelf for now. <laughs> Moving along upstairs, I have made this room into my enchanting room. So I think there's still quite a few details missing to really bring this room fully together here but I think the concept of having the table hanging from the roof with a lovely spore blossom in the middle and some greenery around the outside is absolutely gorgeous and I love it and of course it introduces a whole bunch of particles too this is a fully functioning enchantment table it does level 30 which I can't show now because I have no items on me to show you that but it is level 30 and uh yeah I'm very happy with this moving up again we have another room up here but I haven't actually done anything with it now I was actually thinking this space could be the bedroom. Uh, however, I can't be bothered doing that today. So we will be continuing uh, to skip that one for now. And we're moving up to the top of the mushroom that I was talking about before. And would you look at the amount of space in this area? It is absolutely insane. And I think absolutely perfect for the room that I was talking about. We need like a secret agent headquarters, right? They they won't know. They're none the wiser. You know, all they, all they think is that it's just a mushroom. Okay. But then below the surface or below the top of the mushroom, it'll be a whole operation. And check out these windows here as well we can see our neighbors just fine now i do actually have my render distance down a little bit because jem has been doing some building that i don't want to spoil today but I can see both my neighbors pretty well from here and we have three different sets of windows that we can look out uh look out on and today instead of going into a time lapse we're just going to build this together because I think that's going to be a lot of fun. One of the first things we're definitely going to need to help us kind of figure out what we're going to do with this space is we need to get some dirt. I love using dirt to help mark out like potential just items in my brain. Maybe we want to put some extra walls down. Maybe we want to put a table somewhere, maybe just shelves. Like you can just mark them out with dirt so easily and just get a general idea of what you want your interior to be like. It's a lot easier than trying to sift through all of the different many items that you could use to decorate by first you know just mocking things out with your basic blocks. I 100% think that we could have a really cool like round table type thing in the middle of the room here. I think it'll be a quite a nice statement piece so I'm just gonna mark out some sort of a large circle like that and we can have pieces of like decorate decorative bits forming all around this. There we go so just imagine a table there and what else can we put around the sides here? Hmm I I reckon at the back we could kind of do deal with like maybe a fancy board or something like that to kind of mark down our observations or findings. I honestly don't know where I'm going with this particular character in mind, but I think we can definitely make something cool out of that. Maybe off to the side here, we can even have the smaller desks, which can be classified as the work desks, desks potentially. So we've got the main one where they'll conduct a meeting. And then on the sides, we have where all the research is put together. There we go. It's looking pretty interesting already. And I'm just thinking in my head, what if we even had some like pipes traveling 
up on either side of this board here. Maybe they've got items running through it. Or maybe maybe they're just for just a water pipe decoration. I don't know. We can get something a little bit more industrial or technological in this room. That could turn out quite nice. Now, because the back of the building is a little bit more wonky than the front, it's a lot less symmetrical. I think it could be nice as well to just add a little bit of a wall here and split up the zones a little bit so we can decorate this room in more of a symmetrical pattern. And then out to the back here, we can focus on the staircase that comes up which will then lead to a doorway which could come through into the meeting room. Something I like to do as well just in general is when dealing with like organics or structures in general that have really tough interiors I like to kind of just break it up into very geometric flat and clean shapes. So when it comes to interiors like this for example what I will do is I will just add a whole bunch of blocks into that wall there to make it nice and flat and it makes it a lot easier to work with. Of course you may end up with some walls that are maybe two or three blocks thick but at this point I don't mind if it makes the interior look nicer because this kind of shape is uh, it's a bit of a weird one. <laughs> it's definitely a bit of a weird one. I'm just thinking right now, as it is with this floor, right? We have the prismarine floor and I can't actually change that because that's going to affect what we see on the outside of the mushroom. That pretty much is directly to the outside. It's only one block thick. So what we can do here in order to be able to change the floor to something we may prefer for this particular design is we can just raise everything up by an extra block. Given uh, these windows down here are are pretty much on this level so that can be a little bit of a problem but I'm sure I can figure something out for that. I've seen a few people kind of building with skulk here so I wonder what this would look like as a floor for us. This could potentially work as a floor design however I've only got 12 blocks left so if we would want to make that as an actual floor design I'll definitely need to go far more. However we could also potentially save on some blocks by mixing some different blocks in there and also to create a bit of a variance in the floor itself. This is pretty but it just might look a little bit more interesting for our interior if we mix something extra in there. Hmm, I wonder what that could be. I may have gotten a little bit carried away, uh, <laughs> but I decided not to do my floor and skull because, I don't know, it just kind of looked a bit odd and I really actually didn't know what block to put with it in this kind of scenario. I felt like if we were doing some kind of meeting room that I really wanted to have some sort of really more just structural floor in general. So I think this black stone kind of works fairly well in this instance. Uh, it's still very rough at the moment obviously it doesn't look all that great right now but I think with some extra details and things like the tables and the desks and all that kind of stuff in general it's really going to bring it together. So of course I have moved the skulk from the general floor area to put it under the table instead. This is going to be like a mat that's going to go underneath the table that's going to be on top. So it's going to be something very subtle but I think it can work out quite nice. And then I don't know what compelled me to use obsidian here but it kind of felt like a little bit of an in-between between the black and the kind of cyan texture of the skulk blocks themselves. I'm thinking with the table on top it could look pretty pretty nice. And then of course over here on the opposite side of the room we have the wall that I just decided to build up because I wanted to see how well the floor would kind of go you know with the wall setting right next to it and I really do feel it can work. I've turned this into kind of like a large archway of an entry and I actually ran out of black stone so I'm gonna have to go get some more to uh, fill in where all the dirt is. But I think it's like kind of bringing a across the concept fairly well. We have like uh, a room in here where you can come up, you'll you'll take your shoes off, you'll put your bags down and whatever you, you don't want to put away before entering this room and then you hop in and you get to your meeting and all that kind of stuff like that. I think at this point though I'm just going to go ahead and start to put some details down in general because I just need to get my head into it and really kind of absorb the atmosphere of this room to to just make sure it's, it's the right kind of feeling that I want to convey for this particular theme. I'm telling you all right now this is going to be the definition of the meme of draw the circle and then finish the circle <laughs> because I, I might have done a little bit too much since our last clip yeah. First off, I made a staircase that uh, came down from that room up above into that kind of middle room that didn't have anything in it. Now there is, it's very tight in here, but there's still a little bit of space to work with a little bit later on, but I, I needed to put the staircase somewhere, so it kind of works. So here we go. We twist up around here, all through the acacia planks, and then comes out the top into this, this room. I This came out so good, I feel. I mean, 
I don't know. Did it come out good? I think it did. I kind of like the aesthetic we got going on. We got Skulk hanging from the roofs. We got Spruce Leaves, which are a little bit of a darker variant that kind of match in with the colors we have going on. We have the gray on the ground, which adds a really nice contrast to the cyan colors that are dominating everywhere else, where I mixed in some like deep slate bricks, some wool, all that kind of good jazz. The desks ended up being polished deep slate with some little stone uh, slab chairs beside them. We've got some whiteboards on the walls. We've got all the skulk around the place with some books and little shriekers and stuff placed everywhere with some brewing stands to be the little experimentation tables. Of course, we've got lanterns hanging from the roof from warped wood fences. We have the two pipes with water going through them, as I mentioned earlier. And of course, we have the big table in the middle that I have made out of lovely acacia to be that contrasting like middle focal piece in the room. It's bright and and it's massively different in color from everything else. So I think this worked out really well. And of course I had to place a Shrieker right in the middle of the table to be kind of like the crown of the room. And these sensors are far enough away from it that it won't get set off every single time, you know, we walk past one of these sensors. I am super happy with how this came out. I was a little worried when I was building it, like, oh, would I like this? Is this kind of going well? And I just kept pushing through it and through it. And I'm just really happy, you know, with how it came out. I like the little additions of me playing placing some cyan candles around the place too, using uh, item frames to place these blocks all over the place on the desk, just to create a little bit of like life in the room and detail. And then at the back here, we have that big whiteboard that I had made earlier. It's nice and decorated now, it's got the frame around it. And I've decided to dedicate that to investigating all of the new 1.19 items. What's gonna happen whenever I collect a new piece from the new update, I'm going to stick it on the board so that by the end of it, we will be able to see everything that we had gotten in terms of items from the new 1.19 stuff. I think in general, this area is going to be quite nice. And hey, if we manage to have find some other people that kind of want to get in on this, there is plenty of chairs for people to sit down at and discuss some things. Maybe we can bring our soup group up here. I don't know. But it's really crazy and I love it. What do you guys all think to this room? Let me know down in the comments below. I, I'm happy myself either way. And then once we turn around, of course, by the way, we have the entryway from the stairway that goes into the room. Pretty simply detailed. I've just kind of walled off a few pieces here. Added some greenery for contrast and some cool blue things on the shelves. You also might have noticed that I have two rooms on the left and right hand sides and they really don't have much in them. They're pretty much like the rubbish storage rooms. Like this is just my temporary concrete maker from powder to solid concrete and then on the right hand side this is just where I put all of the chests originally while I was creating my interior here uh, so they're just there in future if I want to do something with them but for now I'm really really happy with this space however though everyone after all of this this has actually been such a long episode today but that is going to be it for this one so thank you all so very very much for watching i hope you all enjoyed it if you did let me know down in the comments below and if you have any feedback please let me know down in the comments below it was so much fun with all that said i will see you all in the next one goodbye everybody goodbye I'm looking real fancy in my suit right now i love it wearing uh what am i wearing i don't know my brain's gone as soon as what we is? landed it's gone i can't think of anything to say right now <laughs> <laughs> i don't know i had so much to say before we started recording and now i'm recording and now i can't think of a thing <laughs> the improv prototype <laughs> english vocabulary has disappeared <laughs> 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 oh no <laughs>